Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Thursday, June the 20th, and it is June because in one of my videos yesterday, I actually said it was July 19th, so sometimes you mess up, but uh, you just gotta laugh about it. But it is June the 20th today, and it is Thursday, and I'm here at uh, the International Gateway at uh, Epcot, and we are here to film the Disney Skyliner, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm actually going to turn you around here in a second. I actually wanna give a shout out to Jeff, who is a cast member who I just met down here. Very, very cool guy, I was talking to him. Don't want to give away exactly what he does, but um, uh, it was just awesome to talk to, and he's looking to do some stuff of his own, so encourage him to do that. Uh, Jeff, a very cool guy to talk to. You said you're going to start watching, so here is your shout out. Uh, so let me uh, let me get you turned around, and we'll take a look at the Skyliner here. Maybe my button never works. You guys know how this is. All right, everybody's coming on board here. We've got uh, Kyle Bacon, uh, Liam Bacon. Oh, we've got two Bacons right in a row. That's pretty cool. Uh, Disney Nut, uh, Jose, that crazy guy, Aaron Anderson, Bolt Clan, good to see you back. Benjamin, hello. Uh, Elvin, always good to have you here. Richard, John, I see you. Oh, you see me? Uh-oh, I'm being watched by somebody. You never know anymore. Uh, Brian, welcome. Kenny, welcome. Scott, good to see you. Pasta Mazul, always good to have you here. So it's, uh, it's a little bit different than it was yesterday. I know she went to bed late. Everybody's waving as they go by here. A lot of people going by. But uh, definitely a little different than it was yesterday. You can see these skies are that beautiful Florida blue sky. Uh, hopefully we won't get any of that weather rolling in. Uh, some really severe lightning and winds and tornado warnings and all kinds of crazy stuff. I uh, did some videos on that yesterday. Uh, so definitely check those out. I'm sure you guys have already. But uh, these are the better days here. These are the days that I really like to film where you get these gorgeous shots, especially the Skyliner. So we're gonna hang out. Hey, hey, it's you guys again. <laughs> We saw you yesterday. Yep. Awesome. See you guys. See you <laughs> All right, saw those guys at uh, Pop Century in Art of Animation yesterday, so that was a lot of fun. Andrew W., thank you so much for the uh, $2 super chat. Thank you from Ellie and Kelly in Maryland. Very, very cool. Thank you very much. Uh, but like I said, we're going to take a look here and see kind of what's going on. We'll watch the, the Skyliner a little bit. Looks like it's stop. Uh, Ratatouille is looking pretty cool as well. Um, let me see if I can actually squeeze over here real quick. And I will get a shot of the Ratatouille building over here. Going to get my pictures again here. All right, so the, the Ratatouille building, the what we believe is going to be the new crepe restaurant, actually has a roof on it now, or the makings of a roof. And it's got that, uh, that very cool French architecture that matches pretty much everything through here. Uh, we'll walk around to the other side here momentarily. We'll see the Ratatouille building as well. And like I said, we'll watch the Skyliner for a little bit, and then I think we're gonna go check out maybe some of the Epcot resorts. Uh, just looking for something to do today. It's a beautiful day and we're just gonna hang out a bit. But always a gorgeous view looking out over water here. All of the, uh, the gondola is pretty much unwrapped. There's probably maybe eight or 10 of them that still have the white wrapping on them. Again, I don't know what they're leaving them on for, if there's anything special under there. From what I see now, I kind of doubt it. Kyle Bacon, oh, you, you're twins, really. So you and Liam are twins, that's pretty cool. Uh, Tian123, thank you for being here. Sherry, welcome, Felix, welcome. Chicken Dog 812, a little laggy. Sometimes when I get uh, under the buildings here, it gets a little laggy on me, so I'm actually gonna try to make my way back out. Oh, it might be blocked in here a little bit. Got a big crowd behind me now, so we'll wait for People to board onto the boats and we'll try to make our way out. I just displays, what's up? Happy Thursday. Yeah. Menu Ragers look good to you, very cool. Kevin and Teresa, thank you uh, for being here. Oh, it's lagging pretty bad for you guys too. All right, let me see if I can move out of this, uh, move out of this spot here. Can I try to squeeze by you guys somehow? Appreciate yeah. it. Wow. You're, that's fine, thank you. Wow. Yeah. Would I sign it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, I got to sign an autograph book here, so. 
Okay, yeah, we'll call you a little bit later on, honey. All right, be careful wherever you go, honey. I'm going to okay. sign your autograph book. How cool is that? <laughs> See if I can do this one-handed. I don't have a very nice signature. I'm sorry. It's terrible. But thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm caught on everything. Can I sneak out of here real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, I didn't want to go no, through no the crowd worries. here. Thank you so much. Of course. Have a good day. <laughs> Seeing everybody here today. Craziest thing, man. <laughs> I saw uh, the notification as I was coming awesome, awesome, across, cool. uh, and we're staying over here, so we were already on our way. Nice. So it was I'm awesome. live, so say hi to everybody. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Very cool. You doing all right? Yeah, just cool. hanging out here doing this, and I'm actually going to start walking down towards the, the resorts there, so okay, cool. you guys coming in? or? Oh, we're, we're leaving Epcot. We're going back to... Uh, our hotel okay we've uh, we've had a day that's awesome <laughs> my wife uh my wife and i uh, ten hello year, how are you Hi, ten year nice anniversary. i'm rob 10 year anniversary yes. wow awesome 10 year anniversary you guys are gonna get it on here now so <laughs> yeah. yeah i just actually signed my first autograph book over there so <laughs> that's no, pretty that's not your first. Only, uh, before oh really yeah oh okay yeah very cool <laughs> Hi, man. take care Hey, Pasta Fazul, thank you so much, uh, 4.99 Super Chat. When do you think we'll see the employees training on the Skyliner? Hopefully soon, I wanna ride at the end of August. You know, I keep looking uh, pretty much every day I come down here and the first thing is that I do is I drive by all the lines and I look up to see if I can see anybody inside of these gondolas and nothing as of yet. So, um, you know, it's, it's gonna be soon, I, I would assume. The Hollywood Studios line especially should be pretty ready to go as far as people unless there's some kind of an internal issue or they just haven't met their their hourly quota yet as far as how many hours they have to run um but uh they're, they're gonna be on there soon actually we're probably gonna catch there was some uh, sun glare on these gondolas as well let me see where the you can just see a little bit of it yeah the sun was hitting this gondola a little while ago pretty heavy uh, we saw that yesterday with the um the sun glare over at Pop Century and Art of Animation. Let me see if I can hit it again. Again, I don't know if this is going to be a really major issue. Yeah, it's not, yeah, right there it's kind of, you can see it just starting to shine up a little bit. See how that window is starting to glare? You really get the sun to hit that right, and that thing really becomes pretty blinding. So hopefully that's not going to cause too much of an issue going through, you know, Hollywood Studios parking lot or down Buena Vista Drive. I don't think it will because when they're moving, it actually is, is pretty quick. So unless they're standing still and you're really staring at it, it probably shouldn't be an issue. But I think it's a great thing because, uh, you know, it's really reflecting that sun out of the gondola, so. Actually, it's going to be kind of hard for me to get the Ratatouille building right now just because it's right by security and I don't uh, film the security booth. So uh, I'm going to avoid that and we're just going to look at the Skyliner as we go past security here so we don't get them on camera. Maybe when we get a little farther out, I might be able to get a shot, but I just had, I was here, I think a week ago and got a pretty good shot of it and it looks pretty much the same. It's got that whole, the facade is pretty much on it. Um, it's very yellow which won't be the, uh, the final color, but it does look pretty cool right now. Sue, uh, I don't, I don't want to butcher your name here, Zy, Zylkowski, I think I might have got that right. Uh, $2 Super Chat, thank you very, very much. Very much appreciated. All right, I'm going to start walking because the sun is pretty much beating down on my head standing right here, so we'll start walking towards the, uh, the yacht and the beach club. Orange Dew Disney, welcome. Dennis C, welcome. The Disney Taffy. Uh, we are out there in August for two weeks. Uh, we have a meal booked 
at the Toledo around the fireworks. Oh, that is so cool. You are very, very lucky. Uh, Ross Merrill, hey, howdy, everyone. Uh, Margaret, hi, howdy, everybody. Everybody loves howdy. I love that. Anybody going to see uh, Toy Story tonight? Magical Vacation Planner by Chris uh, Windsor. I hope I got that. Uh, I just realized I'm signed into my vacation planner account. I'm so sorry about that. I promise uh, not to push my, my product. Hey, you know what? We're all friends here. We're all supportive here. So if people want to check you out, that's fine by me. You know, many people have, uh, have encouraged my channel along the way as well. I've made a lot of friends. So I'm always willing to to pay that forward. Sorry, we're just getting some bushes here again. I don't want to get security going by. Here's the, uh, the new ticket booth, well, the temporary ticket booth that they're using now until they finish all of the, the entrance back here at International Gateway. So it's just changed a little bit as you walk through. Uh, you get your tickets from that ticket booth now and then you walk through a sort of a temporary security um, that's just pushed back and then you you just go through the normal entrance but they're expanding all that over at the international gateway obviously because of the skyliner and the the more foot traffic that they're going to have coming through here Oh, wow. Super chat. Uh, sorry, I got, let me get out of the sun here so I can see this. I'm sorry, I cannot see it. Jod Enninger, uh, $30. Wow, thank you for that super chat. Uh, thank you for everything uh, you do and for the autograph. Thank you, my friend. That is awesome. Sorry, my autograph was terrible. Kind of caught me off guard with that one. But uh, thank you. That is very cool. Thank you very, very much. It's awesome to meet you guys. And I picked the uh, the sunniest route to walk today, I think. There is a lot of glare on my screen at the moment. This is one of my favorite blue colors. love the color palette through here. All right, actually I'm gonna get under this tree a little bit so I can see and kind of catch up with you guys. It's a nice view to look at. All right, let's roll back here a little bit. Philip, welcome. I am doing very well. Thank you for being here. Only one Kenobi. That's one of my, uh, it's one of my favorite names. I love that. Hey, Rob, uh, I'm there at the end of July, early August. Uh, be incredible to meet you. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's run into each other. I, everybody's always welcome to email me. I'll try to make itineraries and stuff like that, figure out schedules. Uh, a lot of people have been doing that, trying to, to coordinate things. Hey, street cred, uh, nailed it on the last name. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Horns do Disney, hello. Dennis C, hello. Uh, maybe I went back a little too far here. Hang on a second, guys. Steven San Filippo, uh, Monday. Monday? No, it's Thursday. I made a mistake on my date yesterday, but I definitely know it's Thursday. Oh, staying at Coronado Springs. Maybe you're coming on Monday. Oh, I'll be at Monday. Okay, you got like three messages going here. So you're coming on Monday. Very, very cool. Skip Fretz, uh, coming on July 3rd for six nights with your grandson. That is awesome. Always good to bring uh, kids here. Is that it's going to be his first time? First timers are always a lot of fun to be around. 
We to Disney and beyond. Hello, I love being able to walk at Epcot from the uh, the Yacht and Beach Club. Yeah, it's a gorgeous walk. I've actually done this walk live before, uh, going all the way through the boardwalk, down past uh, the Swan and Dolphin, and down to Hollywood Studios. It's, it's a beautiful walk if you have the time to do it, and on a beautiful day like this, uh, really nice to do. Paul, hey from the UK, welcome. Scott Anders, uh, always love the, uh, the live streams. Always love having you here. TN 123 Swan and Dolphin looks uh, great today. Yeah, I mean, it looks great every day. It even looks great in the rain. So they're just, they're so cool. I mean, the, the buildings, the, the resorts, the towers, whatever you want to call them, are just, uh, they're beautiful. I have I can remember them from so long ago. I mean, they got built back in, the, what, the late 80s, I think. And um, it's just always that part of the Disney uh, landscape that you're familiar with when you drive in. We actually call them, um, my parents and I make fun of it because we call them the duck and the carp. Uh, because, you know, that's supposed to be a dolphin, but it's just a, an odd sort of dolphin, a very animated dolphin. So we call that the carp. And then, you know, just to make it even funnier, we call those ducks instead of swans. So we always call it the duck and the carp. <laughs> We to Disney and beyond looks uh, beautiful there. It's rainy and chilly in Massachusetts. I am sorry to hear that. Definitely no, I'd love to have you here instead of in Massachusetts. So uh, it's been sort of a, a stressful week. Uh, my, uh, my daughter, Cammie, who you guys probably know very well, is actually in Ohio. She flew, uh, her grandpa, my dad, flew down from Ohio uh, picked her up and then they flew back to Ohio and she's staying with them for three weeks up in Ohio so my wife and I are going to be without Cammie for for three weeks and yeah it's a uh, it's a little new to us we've never really been apart for that long so kind of uh, kind of difficult so far but it's okay she's having a great time she loves uh, all, all of our family is up there so both sets of her grandparents all kinds of cousins, aunts, uncle, aunts, uncles, old friends, uh, they're all up there. So she's able to see all them, which is awesome. So I get to walk around Disney World all by myself right now. This is one of the best beaches, I think, on Disney property. Caribbean Beach has some really nice beaches, but they are definitely smaller than this. This is a very, very large white sandy beach. A lot of seating down here. You can come lay out. Uh, they got these beautiful rocker swings here. Polynesian also has a, a very nice uh, beach as well. But this is uh, this is really pretty through here. See, Steve, uh, coming from Indiana with little grandkids, staying at Pop Century in October and going to see Star Wars uh, for the first time, or is first on your list. First thing, though, is to ride and check out the Skyliner. Yeah, definitely, uh, I wouldn't see any issues with it uh, not being open by then. Again, we're all hoping for maybe late August, early August would be very cool. But definitely, definitely by the fall. Disney even says the fall, so... Uh, finally, a little shade here. We can. Danielle, you love the Beach Club. I do too. The the Yacht and the Beach Club. Definitely gorgeous, gorgeous resorts. Eric, walking around uh, in the Disney heat. Yeah, I can get uh, get a little warm here sometimes, especially when that sun starts kicking down. And I always like to reiterate this in like all of my videos. Like I said, I'm standing under some shade right now, right under a tree. So it went. The temperature has probably dropped at least 10, 
it just feels like it's dropped about 10 degrees just walking underneath the shade. So when you're out in the sun, you really get that heat. You really get that, uh, that sun beating down on you. Sweat makes you hot. Um, but when you get into the shaded area and you take that sun away, the temperature becomes a lot more moderate and it feels a lot better. So the same principle with the, the Skyliner, all the AC issues, all that, you know, they're gonna have that reflective, uh, reflecting the sun out of there and you're gonna have the ventilation through there. So I think it's gonna be a lot cooler. The ride is not gonna be terrible at all in there. And I'm gonna have no problem with it because you can stand here under the shade and be very comfortable for a very long time and just get a little bit of breeze and you're good to go. Awesome, more Super Chats coming in. Uh, from Rob, great name, 499. Uh, always stay uh, with the family at Yacht. Uh, stop by the Quiet Pool. Uh, I don't know where the Quiet Pool is in here. Maybe I do. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. This has got definitely one of the, uh, the best pools on property as well. Chris Dollar 99 Super Chat. Uh, thanks for uh, consistently uh, great content. That's, that was very dark there. Sorry, I couldn't read it. But thank you very, very much. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the kind words. I'm trying to give you guys good content. Although I'm standing under a shady tree right now, you probably don't appreciate that too much. But hey, this is the, uh, the fire pit. Never realized they had the, the fire pit here. So that's pretty cool. I walk by this every single time I'm through here and have never noticed that the fire pit is actually right here. Resort budgeting, uh, is that boat part of the pool? Yes, that's actually the, the slide. So this is like the, uh, the shipwreck. Then you can see people are walking up that ladder and then the slide is this enclosed slide right here and it goes down into the, to the main pool area. So very, very cool slide and pool area through here. The pool is actually closed off to only uh, resort guests. So can't really walk through there. And again, I don't really like to walk through pool areas, especially live streaming. But we can get a little bit of a view once we walk past it here. It's a stunning pool. It is huge. That's why it's closed off to, to only the resort guests. It's kind of an access only thing. Disney Ducks. There they are. Now they're chatting away too. Oh, Cause he's telling his buddy, you gotta catch up. You gotta catch up with them. There you go. <laughs> That's so funny, they're yapping away. Gerald, greetings, Rob, from uh, Nevada. Uh, thank you, and thank you for all you do. And the info you should share, or that I share, um, I don't think you really know what to do and the impact you leave for all of us. Well, that is awesome to hear. I love when I hear things like that. Um, you know, it's kind of growing on me a little bit more and more that people are, you know, really appreciate, I guess, just the, you know, the, the content that I'm bringing, I, I guess the way I present it, um, which is very, very awesome. I do appreciate that. And I love, uh, love hearing things like that. I love talking to all you guys, meeting you guys. Obviously I met uh, some really cool people back at uh, the International Gateway there as well. But thank you for the kind words. That really does mean a lot to me. We to Disney and beyond. Yeah, I'm just uh, showing the outside of the pool here. Like I said, I don't like to, to really walk through the pool areas too much. Some cabanas here, some little private cabanas. That's cool. Perfect. Give you a nice overview of what that looks like in there. Check that out. Somebody's making little uh, sand castles with a moat and it's like some protection around the castle there. Here's the boat dock, boat dock that the yacht and beach both share. It's a lighthouse. 
Bridget, fall uh, 2020 trip for you. Jeremy, uh, it's Donald and Daffy. This has got to be part of another conversation, probably. No shade in uh, 2019. Yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of sunshine, except for yesterday. Yesterday was uh, really, really bad storms. Jimmy, uh, does it still have sand in the bottom? I think it does. Like I said, I really haven't been in there. I, I don't really go through that pool very much, but I think it does have sand in most of the areas. That's kind of what makes it unique as well inside that pool area. Raymond, hi Rob, uh, I'll be at the Port of New Orleans on July 6th for a week. Uh, do you think you could possibly have a, uh, they would have a soft opening for the Skyliner? Uh, on July 6th, I would seriously doubt it, considering they haven't even put um, cast members that we know of on there. So uh, I would say probably not. We're probably looking more towards August, mid-August, if they were to do any kind of soft openings, because uh, they really have to do some testing with uh, with some real life folks before they put uh, put the rest of us on there. Margaret Lewis, $3 Super Chat. Really uh, appreciate all you do. Uh, I bring such joy. Again, thank you so much for the kind words. That really does mean a lot. Um, thank you so much for the, the Super Chat. Um, I never know really what to say, except thank you guys for that. I, I feel kind of uh, dumbfounded a lot when, when you guys uh, show support like that. It really does mean a lot. Steven S., I've stayed there several times. Yes, uh, sand in the bottom. There you go. There's the answer. Best pool in Disney. Uh, I would agree. This is definitely probably ranked the, the best pool in all of Disney just because it's, it's so much. I mean, there's so many areas in there. I actually think it's got like a little lazy river that goes through it. It's got that amazing slide. It's got the private cabanas. I mean, this thing just goes on in between both resorts. Plus, we'll walk in here for a little bit. We don't have to stay on the outside. Might as well just hang out for a little bit today. It's got the giant windmill in there. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can take a look. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's so many, so many different areas, so many different pools. They do have some really beautiful lobbies here too. The theming is is perfect through the yacht and the beach. Theming is pretty much perfect anywhere on Disney. That's what makes them so special. All right. So you can see all kinds of details in here. Got the Ale and Compass Lounge. I've done full walkthroughs of this resort before if you want to go check out the videos a little more in depth. I'll just kind of walk through real quick so you can get an idea. This is really nice through here though. See, Disney Dad pool area at the Poly and Wilderness Lodge are pretty uh, top notch too. Oh, I totally agree. There's some, there's really amazing pools all over property. Even, you know, the pools, just like the, um, the pool at uh, Art of Animation, the Nemo pool, and how cool it is that you can actually hear underwater. You know, it's just a lot of details. Caribbean Beach has one of my favorite pools as well with the sort of the buccaneer theme. We have the models of the yachts here. Matthew Kind, you know I could count on you with your uh, your very very kind 999 super chat. Thank you very very much. You are always very kind, my friend. 
John from Canada, this is a deluxe. Cow bacon, uh, will you go on the monorail? I uh, can't go on the monorail from here, but uh, I, will, I will go on the monorail sometime soon. And I'm actually thinking of going and doing some of the, uh, the boat transportation. I really love riding all of the boat transportation at, uh, especially around the Magic Kingdom, Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. Pasta Bazool, maybe the Skyliner Resort uh, coming into play for the price of the Beach Club Resort will come down. Uh, I don't know if Disney's in the market for lowering any prices, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing some things out there that some of the, uh, some of the prices are going up a little bit for, uh, I think I've heard uh, for Pop Century, Art of Animation. I haven't seen it personally myself. I really don't check prices very much. I just kind of rely on what I hear. Um, you know, a lot of you guys come on and say what you're booking and stuff like that. So, you know, if they're going to start charging a little bit more for it, uh, they won't bump it up to a moderate price, hopefully, uh, just for transportation. The amenities just aren't there, uh, even though, you know, Pop Century and Art of Animation have amazing food courts. It just doesn't have that, uh, that amenity level that, uh, say, a, a moderate resort would have. Margaret, yeah, you like the boat idea, so we'll definitely do that. Edward uh, loves staying at Pop, going to be there September 30th. Darlene Ambrose uh, will be there at the Beach Club. Uh, Beach Club in October. Can't wait. Keep up the great videos. Love to watch. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Darlene. I appreciate that. Hope you have a great trip in uh, October. Skyliner should hopefully be open by then. Uh, if it's not, then some, some things have probably gone wrong, and we don't want that. Bruce Hyatt, uh, what class would this resort be? This is a uh, deluxe. Yacht and Beach Club, all the resorts here, uh, Boardwalk, Yacht and Beach, Swan and Dolphin, they're all deluxe resorts. Moderate resorts are both of the uh, Port Orleans, Riverside and French Quarter, uh, Disney's Coronado Springs, Caribbean Beach, those are your moderate resorts. I think I got them all, I think so. Deluxe is like Wilderness Lodge, all the resorts around the Magic Kingdom, um, all these resorts. Uh, these are all deluxe, and then the the value resorts would be considered the all stars, and a little bit higher level value would be Pop Century and Art of Animation. Hopefully, they won't move them up into another tier, because again, I don't I don't think they have the amenity level. Bruce Hyatt, will Disney be offering more magic hours? I believe they are. I've heard even with uh, Galaxy's Edge, they're going to be offering uh, the magic hours now. After it opens, like a week or so after it opens, I think Disney guests are going to have uh, a lot of magic hours for that. Uh, you see it all over the place. Magic hours pretty much every day at any given park. So Definitely a lot of bonus for actually staying on property. And of course, just the simple fact is you get to stay here and it's absolutely gorgeous. Did you ever wonder how long it took to lay all this, this wood for these decks that they do all through here? And again, this wraps all the way around. And the boardwalk, the boardwalk is the entire uh, same layout here as this here. I mean, every one of these screws Just a lot of things you, you wonder about. All the detail that goes into what Disney does. A nice little gazebo back there. I'm sure a lot of people get married there. I do see a lot of uh, brides and grooms. Oh, I think they're dinging. I'm getting out of the way. All right, we'll let the survey bike go by. Follow them to the boardwalk. Hey, Nick, how are you? Welcome. Jeremy, uh, which one is your favorite uh, resort in the Epcot area? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I would have to say that the Swan and Dolphin, I think, kind of stands out. Uh, even though it's really not considered a Disney 
property. It's a Marriott property. Uh, just the, the dolphin especially. I mean, inside the dolphin is gorgeous. The courtyard over at the dolphin, the swan and dolphin is gorgeous, especially at night, the way they, they light it up and they have, um, you know, all kind of like what, uh, what Coronado Springs is doing now with the tower kind of transitions through that, that green and that red and that blue and everything. So I really like those hotels. The boardwalk for obvious reasons has a lot of, uh, a lot of fun and adventure that you can do at night. A lot of cool stuff going on on the boardwalk. They do have a very classic pool. It's got that, uh, that clown face. I don't know, it might creep some people out, but I think it's pretty cool. Fits in perfectly with the resort. But then again, uh, you know, Yacht and Beach has this amazing pool here. And I think the theming is, is really spot on, really, uh, really elegant, really high class here. So all depends on what your taste is, but my personal would be, uh, would be Swan and Dolphin. Uh, resort budgeting, do you know if you can rent boats there? Well, here you go. There's the answer to your question. It is right here. There's a little speed boats that you can rent. And here is the Bayside Marina. We'll take a look at this here so you can see exactly what they got. A sea racer, uh, two guests maximum, $32 for 30 minutes, which I don't think is bad at all. 45 bucks for 60 minutes for an hour to cruise around on the lake. Uh, the 17 inch, 21 inch specialty cruise, cruise around the world, guided bass fishing excursion. Uh, two hour trip for 270 bucks. For five guests, you know, you can split that up between you and uh, some buddies. That would probably be a pretty awesome deal. But yeah, zipping around those little uh, those little speed boats, 30 minutes for 32 bucks. That is a pretty sweet deal. And I have not done that since I was a kid. Um, it was back in uh, when it used to be the Disney Marketplace on Lake Buena Vista, when you could actually still drive the boats on Lake Buena Vista. This was way back in the early 80s. Uh, I remember my dad taking me out on on the boat and it was crazy fun cammy wants to do one of these i think eventually we'll we'll rent one and we'll we'll cruise around uh resort budgeting annual pass discounts i would assume uh, i will actually go back and ask for you that's the joy of live video i haven't walked too far away so let's get your question answered uh, let me see where the cast member is. I think he's down there. I don't know if it actually said on here or not. Please present Walt Disney World Magic Band passport or valid driver's license. Uh, it doesn't really say there. We'll ask him here real quick. Excuse me, do you take uh, annual pass discounts? Um, yeah, we do. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what? Day, for the day, daytime rentals. Daytime rentals? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Daytime rentals. Annual pass discount in full effect. Albin Schindler, thank you very much, my friend. $2 super chat. Do you think uh, they will have a rescue boat uh, at Epcot? Uh, I don't believe so, just for that little stretch of water that's there. Uh, they will come up with another solution if for some reason, you know, they have that one gondola that might be over the water. They'll be able to figure that out. I think, you know, worst case scenario, they would be able to fit um, a crane lift in there and be able to, to extend a crane out for, you know, far enough to get there. They'll have to come up with a solution for that. They, uh, we know it, uh, it pop and art. You know, we watched them build the, the rescue pontoon boat there, and it's parked over there in uh, Hourglass Lake now. But they definitely need that there because there's so much open water there and so many gondolas over it at one time. I would definitely say probably not for International Gateway. They'll come up with another solution. Not quite sure what that solution would be. Like I said, it, it would be, I'm assuming, a crane or something that would be able to extend an arm out that far. We'll have to wait. We've seen uh, 
We've seen how they're going to evacuate at Hollywood Studios. Uh, we know they're going to use a boat at Pops and Pop and Art. We'll see if we can catch uh, any sort of an evacuation process over on the Epcot side. They'll probably do that down through that, that wooded area that really you can't access. Check out the Friendship boat going by here in front of the Atlantic Dance Hall. All right, uh, another super chat from Jim Carson. Again, this is a, they make these things like dark blue and they put black ink on them. I totally apologize. Uh, be there on Monday, I believe that's what that says. Uh, Jim, have an awesome trip on Monday. Thank you for that super chat. Uh, maybe we'll run into each other. That would be awesome, be a lot of fun. Kyle, what's my favorite Magic Kingdom resort? Uh, Wilderness Lodge, absolutely. Followed by uh, the Polynesian. Wilderness Lodge, I think, is just perfect. Everything is perfect in there. It's so rustic. Um, the lobby is insanely awesome. They have the, you know, the, the stream that flows all the way from the lobby all the way out into Bay Lake. The pool is amazing. The food is amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. The geyser, they have the, uh, uh, the little bar, the, I forget what it is, the geyser grill or something down there. That is so awesome to sit out on Bay Lake. I mean, that's when you're truly looking at full amenities at a resort, Wilderness Lodge definitely has a full array of things that will keep you happy there for a long time. Florida Joey Con, do you think uh, they may try to go live sometime in July or will they uh, wait for August? Are we referring to the, the Skyliner? I'm assuming. Uh, I don't think July as far as live. Um, cast testing for sure you would think should be starting any time. But uh, I wouldn't see, and again, maybe, maybe they'll start tomorrow. We don't know. Maybe they've been doing cast testing at night and we've missed it. Um, but that Hollywood Studios line would be ready pretty quick. So I'm going to say no for July. I think they would hold out until early August for soft openings. But uh, you never know. It would be awesome. I hope, I'm, uh, I hope I can get on there pretty quick. See, uh, We Too Disney and Beyond, Wilderness Lodge has a hidden Mickey scavenger hunt. I did not know that. You're going to have to take Cammie for that. She would love that. Keith, uh, asking the same thing. Will the be open at the end of July for the Skyliner? Again, I, you know, your guess is as good as mine now. I, I don't have, you know, I don't have a, a secret Disney, you know, schedule that says it's going to open on this date. I wish I did, but, you know, it's just what we look at. You know, we, we look at the progress, we look at the things they're doing. Again, I always talk about the details. You know, if you look at uh, all the landscaping, all the fencing coming down, all the lighting, all the painting, um, all the testing, all these things are just adding more and more up to, they want to get this thing moving. They want to, I think they're going to try to get this up ahead of schedule. There's one of the speedboats out there now. Right there, 32 bucks, you could be doing that. That is a pretty sweet deal for, for awesome entertainment at Disney. Yeah, there's another one back there too. That is so cool. And that is awesome that they still let you do that. You can do that here and I believe you can still, yeah, you can still do it over on uh, Seven Seas Lagoon, Bay Lake as well. Joseph, it is a, a gorgeous day. Uh, unlike yesterday, that was really bad weather. Uh, today, you know, just in a, a snap of a finger, you get gorgeous Florida weather. Bob Baker, I know several cast members uh, and can confirm there has been no cast member testing yet. Um, there you go. I, I didn't think there was. Like I said, I, I pretty much look every time I come down and I have not seen a human figure in there yet. I do know that uh, Doppelmeyer folks and some of the upper Imagineers have ridden back and forth. Nobody's actually seen them, but I, I, I know that they've kind of jumped back and forth and I've heard that the ride is like butter. Uh, it's very smooth, uh, it's very quick. So, but as far as, you know, your everyday cast member, I didn't think that there was, but thank you for confirming that, Bob. That is, that is awesome. It's always nice to have a, a little backup on the things we talk about. 
Betty Jane, 499 Super Chat. Thank you very, very much. Very generous. Always appreciated. And again, sometimes I just don't know how to say thank you enough uh, for all these Super Chats on here. It's, I really, really do appreciate that. Hopefully you guys know that. I'm just kind of standing here. I, I love the view. I could stand here. And in fact, when I'm not live streaming, a lot of times I'm just like hanging out in places like this, like on a bench, like I'll find like that bench right there and just sit here for like half an hour and just chill out. Cause I always said, and I actually put a little video up at, uh, at Coronado Springs when I was sitting on the, on the three bridges. Um, you know, I always talked about when we moved down here, how cool it would be just to be able to drive to Disney and sit on a bench and just look at views like this and not have the hustle and bustle of trying to get everywhere within, you know, a week's trip. That's like one of the best parts about living down here is you get to do things like this where, you know, you get to enjoy just the absolute beauty of Disney and how laid back it can actually be and how it doesn't have to be stressful as you come down here and try to cram everything into a vacation. I did that for many, many years and I know that feeling. And it's actually pretty awesome because you don't come to Disney to go on vacation, you go home to take your vacation is what I always used to say. I'm sure a lot of you guys say that too. You feel more tired when you get home than when you actually came here. See, Landwar, uh, just curious if you know if I am on my way to Hollywood Studios from Pop and a quick harsh storm comes up, do you think they would have me get off the gondola before my destination? Disney will make that determination, whatever protocol they set. Um, when things were happening yesterday, storms were, were pretty predict predictable. We knew that those storms were going to come in and they weather is really good down here as far as you can pretty much predict it on a dime you know five o'clock it's pretty much you're gonna have a storm um, so Disney has all kinds of weather equipment there's equipment on the towers themselves that can sense the electricity the wind velocity um, all of that so they're gonna be able to determine how much time they'll have to evacuate people off the gondola normal conditions again rain light rains those kind of things even some wind you're gonna be riding back and forth on those uh, once the, the heavier winds start picking up, not that they are unsafe and they can't operate in those conditions, but I'm sure Disney isn't going to want people on there, you know, rocking back and forth. It's not going to give them the reputation they want for it. So I would assume, you know, once those gondolas get to that point to where they're swaying in the wind, they're, they're going to want to get people off as well. Uh, lightning for sure, absolutely. If there's lightning within so many mile radius, they're going to shut it down. And you can evacuate that thing quick. They've actually done that. We've watched them do that to where they rapidly are taking the gondolas off. They're running them, they're pulling them off the line, pulling them off the line. And they can do that within about 10 or 12 minutes uh, for, for most of the line. So, um, you know, as long as they get a pretty decent heads up on the storm, they're gonna get you off. Uh, if they have time, if you're going through to another, the only real thing that you would be looking at is if, if they pull you off at the Riviera, if you're heading to Epcot. Um, so I don't know what their, what their protocol will be for that. But, you know, if you're heading over to Hollywood Studios, you know, they're going to zip you off once you get to Hollywood Studios or vice versa. It's really just kind of a one-stop deal. I get, well, I guess if you're going from Pop, you would have to stay at uh, Caribbean Beach until the storm passed. But what will most likely happen is they would have Caribbean Beach especially. That's another reason why they put the bus station there. For those cases, you know, they have to pull people off the gondolas. There's a bus station right out front that they built now. So you'd be able to jump on the Disney bus and take that to your destination. Another great thing about the weather here in Florida, like I said, it's pretty predictable. So late afternoon, early evening is when, if you're gonna get the storm, is when normally it would come through. So that's not gonna affect your peak times. So it's gonna be, you know, lesser crowds going back and forth on the Skyliner. It really doesn't storm really heavy, generally early in the morning or late at night. Um, I mean, it does, but it's more predictable to get heavy storms during midday. So when the crowds are really coming and the crowds are really letting out, um, the storm issue hopefully won't be, won't be too much of a problem. I mean, the swan and dolphin is just so incredible. The architecture is amazing. I mean, where else do you see, besides Vegas, I guess, things like this? 
Kay Wallace, thank you very much for the, uh, the $5 Super Chat. Always appreciated, you know that. Thank you very, very, very much. Resort budgeting, is this the walkway to Hollywood Studios? It is. Um, you, can, you can go the way that I've walked through Yacht and Beach and then over this bridge here past Swan and Dolphin and then on to Hollywood Studios. Or you, can, uh, you could have gone around the boardwalk um, you know, if you want to go through the boardwalk and enjoy some of the stuff through there. And that basically comes out right here where you see this giant boardwalk walkway here. So you can zip over to the Swan and Dolphin, or you can go through, actually, let me think about it here. Yeah, it's on this side. I don't think you can walk on the other side. No, the, the walkway is on this side. So you'd go through here and then the walkway itself goes all the way down into uh, Lake Hollywood down there. Names of the lakes. Everybody uh, believes that it's uh, Crescent Lake, that the whole area is called Crescent Lake. They actually divide it up. The, uh, the friendship captains divide this up into uh, Crescent Lake, which is between the Yacht and Beach and the Boardwalk. This is the Half Moon Lagoon, and you can actually see it's sort of a, a half moon shape here. And then down yonder is uh, Lake Hollywood. Look at this. The reflection on the water. Water in Disney and the reflections that you get. Again, another Skyliner plug here. Pop Century and Art of Animation. I actually got a bunch of pictures that I'm sort of editing right now uh, that has like all the reflections of the gondolas and stuff in the water. So I'll, I'll put those up on the website uh, at a later date, but so gorgeous. So many different reflections. Coronado Springs now with the new tower and the lighting and the restaurant. Gorgeous, gorgeous reflections in the water. I mean, definitely take the time to look around. There's just always a little more magic when you're at Disney for some reason. I mean, this literally looks like pixie dust kind of floating over the top of the water. That is a very pretty view. I'm actually going to take a picture of this. I'm sure I've already taken this picture before, but I'm here. Got the gorgeous sun behind the building there. Oh, that's beautiful. Street cred, just found out my hubby got a raise today. Congratulations. Our Disney trip is either going to happen a bit sooner or we're we going to uh, keep it for the same date in June 2021 and do more things. Wow, that's how do you make that decision? Have a quicker trip or have a better trip? I would probably wait personally until 2021 and have an awesome all-out trip because 2021 you're gonna have so much stuff open you know you come earlier there's a possibility that some of the things that they're doing aren't going to be here so or are not open so personally that's what I would do but that's probably hard for me or easy for me to say because I can come here whenever and I know it's, it's kind of it's hard when you can't get here so getting here quickly might be a better option but if you definitely want to wait for everything to, to open and be able to do everything you want here, I think that would be pretty cool. Trust me, more money is always a better option at Disney than less money. They like to uh, provide opportunities for you to spend money here. But crazy enough, there's also a lot of opportunities that you don't need money for. Now that I think about it, I actually wrote an article on Passport to the Parks long ago that listed, I think, like 10 things or 7 things or whatever that you can do for free here. That's awesome. Things like uh, transportation, you know, you can ride the monorail, you can ride the boats, you can do all that for free. Um, the campfire with uh, Chippendale is an amazing, awesome Disney spectacular event that I love, and it's totally free. You can just go get to the Wilderness Lodge. I mean, you can buy your, your marshmallows and stuff there. You can pay for that. But 
if you just want to go enjoy Chippendale, Chippendale on the campfire and watch the movie. So a lot of things you can do here and not have to spend a, spend a buck. Man, the further, you know, I walk like 10 feet and it just becomes more spectacular. It's gorgeous. Eric in Florida, finally a day without rain. Seriously, it's been raining like every day here. It's been pretty annoying. I was talking about Cammie going to Ohio earlier in the week. She left on Monday and they actually sat on the runway waiting for clearance for like an hour for lightning because there was just all these storms in the area. So they couldn't even take off because of these Florida storms. So we've done this at night before. We came here with uh, Cami, and what, it's some kind of water coming. Oh, it's the mist from the some kind of mist from somewhere. Sprinklers or something. I'm getting wet. But anyways, uh, we've been here at night, and if you want to check that video out, or if you get the opportunity to ever come here at night, uh, this all lights up. This whole, all the trees, all the walkways, the fountains, everything lights up with those those really pretty neon colors, the blue and the green and the, the translucent colors that change. And it is so impressive just to stand here and they play music. They're playing music right here. It's all Disney music. BTR Cedar Point was rained out. Oh no, it's raining in Ohio. That's where my daughter's at. My daughter is like 30 minutes from you right now. Sherry, I sometimes go to Disney Springs and get the uh, Giardelli Sunday, uh, then take a uh, boat ride to Port Orleans. There's another thing, that boat ride over to Port Orleans and Riverside, fantastic. My favorite boat ride in all of Disney property for sure. I love it. Kevin and Teresa Swan and Dolphin are spectacular. Too bad Disney uh, walked away from them. Yeah, these are, these are Marriott properties. So if you notice that uh, all of the properties are Disney's uh, Caribbean Beach, Disney's Pop Century, Disney's Art of Animation. This is actually called the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin. Um, just for that fact that it's, it's not Disney's, it's not Disney owned, it's just Walt Disney property uh, owned by Marriott. But they're still amazing properties. People love it here, uh, very well taken care of. Nemo with glasses. Rob, uh, did you move to Florida just to be closer to Disney? Was it a difficult move? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much the primary reason for moving down here. Second to that would be getting away from the Ohio weather. Uh, my wife would probably give you a different uh, version of that, the weather, second by Disney. But, um, I mean, we love it here. We've been coming here forever, and it's just amazing here. The move itself, uh, it was... These little birds are like not moving out of my feet here. I'm about to step on them. So the move itself, I guess it was, I don't want to say difficult, but you really have to put some effort into it and some planning. We actually put a two-year plan together to where we just said at one point we're, we're going to stop talking about it, we're going to do it. Uh, over two years, we just kind of got step-by-step. Step, you know, we started looking for properties. We got everything in order back in Ohio. You know, get the families on board, what you're going to do schools, uh, look at the different areas down here. I actually had a, uh, a really good friend that I met through Facebook that lived down here. Uh, his name is Michael. He's with uh, Theme Park Brothers, so check out his uh, YouTube channel. Very, very cool over there. He does it with his kids. Um, but he helped me out as far as the areas, looking at properties and stuff down here, which was very awesome. Uh, very appreciative to him. It's a lot different down here than Ohio. I mean, you have to look at like utilities and, uh, you know, we rented when we came down here. So it can be done. You know, if you're really seriously thinking about doing it, I would always pay that forward too. You can always email me if you have any questions. Um, you know, I can help you with areas and things like that from what I know. We to Disney and beyond the tree lights are beautiful. Yes, it's really really awesome here at night Tim hello from Ohio OH Frank welcome 
Sandy Pandy, welcome. Uh, Jay Blue, have you stayed at Universal Hotels? How do they compare to the Disney experience? I have not physically stayed in a, in a Universal Hotel yet. Uh, I was just talking about my buddy Michael. He stayed there. Uh, you can check that out on Theme Park Brothers. He's got some pretty cool footage. Uh, they stay there a lot, actually. So I know that they have very nice properties there. Just I tend to spend uh, more time here at Disney. Sippity doodad, welcome. Taking a little time off of work, I assume. So welcome for being here. I appreciate that. Always good to have you. JT Bids. Hello, I think I missed you earlier. Sorry about that. Control Cam, Florida resident rates rock. Yes. Um, definitely the Florida residents annual pass did not get hit as hard as the normal annual passes. All right, shakes and uh, other frozen drinks. I did a uh, full walkthrough here at the Swan and Dolphin as well. So you can go back and, and find that video. The Blue Zoo, this restaurant is so cool inside. So I want to make plans to come back here and eat. I'm going to show you in here real quick. We walked through this the last time I was here. But not very, uh, not very well known. I didn't really know about this restaurant until I did this walkthrough, so. Hello. Good. Just looking in here real quick. Sure. It looks amazing. It's so incredible. I love the blue. I mean, check this out. This is so cool and so blue and retro. It just feels cool in here. And they got all kinds of frozen, frozen fish on the ice back there. It is amazing. Hello. Well, oh, didn't want to get in front of you there. Look at that. The fresh shrimp cocktails going out. Well, this really goes back here, too. This is a big restaurant. I mean, this is really fine dining at its best. Look at the chandeliers. That, oh, check. That actually looks like bubbles floating in water when you're standing here. Hopefully that comes out on the screen. But you know how you have, like, uh, like bubbles in gel or something like that, or your fizzy bubbles in water. That's what that is supposed to re resemble. That is so cool. That is beautiful. Nice little pizza oven back there with the open fire pit. Have a great day. It's so cool in here. I love it. Those chandeliers back there with the little water crystals. That's so cool. Jellyfish. I thought it was like, um, you know, when you have gel or like a gel candle, you get the little air bubbles in there. That's kind of what it looks like to me. But yeah, it's awesome. Thanks. All right, we'll head up here. We'll take a look at the lobby real quick. Wasn't really intending on a resort tours today, but doesn't hurt to hang out, right? See, Sam, uh, first time viewer, uh, your stream is very informative. More detailed than some of the other channels I watch. Keep up the good work. Well, that is great to hear. Thank you very much for that feedback. And welcome. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully, we'll see you back more. Do a lot of Skyliner stuff here. So if you're into the Skyliner, definitely stick around for that stuff. Kind of changing it up a little bit here we're just doing a little bit of a walk around just having some fun today enjoying the weather and i tend to uh talk an awful lot through here so usually just yapping about stuff that i've been through in all my years here at disney and check that out i mean come on how long did it take to hang all those That is outrageous. Got the little mini dolphin fountain in here. 
And again, when you walk into these Disney resorts, especially the Swan and Dolphin, the smell is so um, specific. I mean, you walk in, it smells so clean, it smells so fresh. That, that water smell that you get, that's, that's very classic to Disney. Um, if you've been here before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it just is incredible. All your senses get taken over when you walk onto Disney properties. And they're, they're all really good for that. Even down to the Valley Resorts, they take over all your senses. The, uh, the deluxe resorts obviously, you know, have a little bit more of a bang for your buck as far as lobbies. The Grand Floridian obviously is, is amazing. Wilderness Lodge, the uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Swan and Dolphin here is incredible. Just a gorgeous shot in the courtyard. Steve, you're gonna be here in August. Hope to see you. I hope to see you too, my friend. You can always email me before you come. Try to hook things up. Sherry, I would uh, rate the fireworks, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, one to four. Uh, as far as fireworks, I don't think Animal Kingdom actually has fireworks. They have the, uh, the, uh, the shows there. But I would probably, I think Epcot, yeah, I think I would go with that list. Disney's Hollywood Studios, the, fire, the Star Wars thing is cool, but Epcot is just so traditional with the Illuminations, which is gonna be going, Epcot Forever is coming. Uh, Happily Ever After is just outstanding, though. When you're standing in front of that castle and you're listening to that music, uh, there, there's nothing better than watching the, the Happily Ever After fireworks. And I do personally prefer it over Wishes. <clears throat> I usually get a lot, of, uh, a lot of backlash for that. But I think that Happily Ever After is just awesome. Resort budgeting reminds me of the old land pavilion. Yeah, I guess I could go for that. I would see that. That's a good call. Street cred, this is gorgeous. I underestimate the Swan and Dolphin resorts before, but Rob is changing my mind. There you go, sometimes you just gotta see it. Like I said, I didn't know some of the stuff in here as well, that, that Blue Zoo restaurant is just incredible. I never knew that was here until I walked through here. Just trying to catch up and then we'll, we'll start uh, walking again. Uh, Reese Roberts, uh, just join you. Where are you at again? These are the Epcot resorts. We're in the Dolphin Resort right now. Uh, sorry, did I miss a super chat here? I apologize if I did. Uh, David Cantrell, thank you so much. Thanks for the videos, Rob. Love the, uh, the beach and the yacht club. Love the view over the water. Uh, absolutely gorgeous views here. David, thank you so much for your super chat. Uh, you know, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, Brian Disney fan, I like the... Uh, the Fountain Restaurant, that's, that's a very good one too. Uh, Jason Hay from Australia, very cool. Thank you for being here all the way around the world. JT Vids, I'll be there in August as well. Have you heard anything about the annual pass holder preview for Galaxy's Edge? I did hear some rumors about that. I've heard as early as like August 11th that uh, pass holders might be able to get into Galaxy's Edge, which I seriously need to get the hook up for that because as much as I love Star Wars, as much as I'm looking forward to Galaxy's Edge, um, and as much as I know you guys want me to be there for that opening craziness, I'm not looking forward to that opening day at all. 6 a.m., um, it's gonna be crazy. So if I can get in there beforehand and experience it and have some fun, and then maybe just go that morning just to film crowds and things like that, just the event itself, I would be thumbs up for that. So I hope so. I'm gonna keep an eye on that, but it's definitely uh, definitely out there that past all the previews are supposed to be coming. They did it for Pandora, so hopefully, hopefully Galaxy's Edge will give the same hookup. This is always cool. They have the overview model of the Swan and Dolphin. All right, we're going to go through the big, uh, big windy walk door here. Hopefully, we won't get stuck. Cammy loves going through this thing. And then she loves to stop in the middle of it, so I get stuck in it. See, of course, those are the things that that I miss when she's gone. Just a little craziness, the things that she tortures me with. And I'm sure if you have kids, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. 
they really uh, they really change your world and they they make you a completely different person. Not that I wasn't pretty much the same before, but she just enhanced everything. Looks like they're gonna take a picture here. I won't walk in front of them. Now, I will admit that the, uh, the swan is not as impressive inside as the dolphin. Uh, still looks beautiful, still lovely on the inside, but the dolphin just has that, that sort of kick in the pants factor when you walk in. So that's really, uh, really cool. I enjoy walking into the dolphin. Yeah, they're actually playing uh, Eye of the Tiger behind me here, so I always thought it was just Disney music that I heard through here. I'm going to try to walk through here and keep talking over the music, so... Uh, they don't ding me for copyrights on YouTube. Gotta love YouTube and their copyrights. Michael, uh, Hollywood is gonna be crazy packed. It is. David, be brave, you're only young once. Well, I ain't so young anymore, that's the thing. <laughs> no, it, it'll be fun. I mean, it's gonna be an experience. It's gonna be one of those things that you can definitely say you were there. You know, I was there on opening day. I was there with the billions of people. Although Disneyland did it right. You know, as, as the reservation thing sounded hokey and crazy, but when you look at the videos of the people that were there for the opening days, it, it looked really nice. I mean, it was not crazy. It was not, uh, you know, it was not the, uh, the zombies crawling all over each other to try to get over the fence scenario. So, Hopefully it won't be that bad at Hollywood Studios, but I think it's gonna be a little more, a little more of a frenzy, a little more uh, populated. The annual pass holder deal will definitely uh, alleviate a lot of that. Let's see, uh, We Too Disney and Beyond. What else? Oh, you're thanking JT Vids. JT Vids will be checking out uh, different neighborhoods and towns as we plan on moving down there. You know, like I said, uh, you can always feel free to email me if you have any questions. If you're looking at this area in particular, you know, I can help you as much as I can and tell you, you know, hey, that's, that's really not cool over there or, you know, that's a pretty cool spot. Definitely, uh, definitely willing to help out if I can. Or, you know, you want the adventure, you just want to jump in feet first and do it all yourself, that's cool too. No problems with that. But uh, as Ringo once said, it's always nice to get by with a little help from your friends. I was just thinking I probably should have jumped on the boat back there, so... Resort budgeting, can you request the gondola to ride? I don't believe that is going to be possible. Now maybe, you know, if you go in there and there's like nobody in there and there's you and two other people standing there, you know, you could say to the cast member, hey, I really want to ride the Haunted Mansion. And if they're cool, they might let you, you know, stick around. But, you know, if you're going through there and there's a crowd of people, uh, you're not going to be able to stand there and request a gondola. At least I would not assume you would be able to. It would seem not uh, not too smart on on Disney's part. Uh, Disney keeps me young. Kevin and Teresa uh, turned 62 in May. Teresa much younger. Uh, we've uh, been young since 1992. Wow, 62. That's, uh, I did not peg you for 62 at all. I was thinking uh, that you were maybe around my age. Um, that is awesome. You look good for 62. Kevin uh, sent me the picture of him and uh, his uh, Passport to the Park shirt, which was awesome. Uh, definitely does not look 62, so keep it up. Disney does keep you young. David must run uh, 
uh, many uh, tink sprinkles. <laughs> All right, yeah, you have a good day, my friend. All right, um, yeah, I'm looking at the time here now, so I think I'm probably gonna start cutting out of here. I'm gonna head home. My wife worked last night and I'm gonna head home. She's probably gonna get up. We'll probably have some dinner and all that great stuff. And it's been about an hour and 15 minutes now. So where's my camera? There you go. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Um, just did whatever today. It was just cool, having fun. It's a beautiful day. Decided just to take a walk. Uh, started with some Skyliner stuff. At least we fit that in there. International Gateway looks beautiful. It's gonna be so much fun there. Um, and they're, they're always very cool over there too. Uh, like I said, I don't like to film security when I go in those areas. And I always talk to security before I go in there and say, hey, I'm not gonna film over there. And, and they're always very cool. To, so definitely shout out to Disney Security. You guys do an amazing job. And keep up the great work. You keep us all safe here. And I have a ton of respect for you guys. Uh, but thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed just the, the little walk through today. Thank you so much for all the super chats. Uh, there's a lot of them up there. So uh, thank you all in general. I do appreciate that. Um, and I guess that's about it. Uh, check out Passport to the Parks, uh, subscribe, all that great stuff. You've heard it on other channels before. You know what to do. Um, okay. We'll talk to you guys very, very soon. All right. Bye-bye.